What's up, Vikes? Today we have a stand up on Jana's campaign. I'm Allie, and this is SVTV. Seniors, there are two scholarship opportunities for you. Information is on Schoology. There will also be another vote for Snowball on Friday during seminar. The Art Club's Drawing Night and the Vicette Showcase are tonight. Be sure to wish debaters luck as they compete at State this weekend. Auditions for the one-act plays are on January 16th. Yesterday during seminar, there was an assembly about Jana's campaign. We caught up with Kaylee to learn more about it. Hi, I'm here with Kaylee and she's going to talk to us about the event that's occurring on Friday. So what's happening on Friday? Okay, so on Friday, I'm having my assembly. Um, it's for my star event for FCCLA. Um, Jana's campaign is coming to talk to the students. Um, it's in the auditorium. It's not mandatory, but I'd like to see everyone there. Uh, what's the campaign about? Um, it's about domestic violence. So Jana was a girl who was an advocate for uh, dating abuse and sexual abuse, and um, she was she ended up being killed by her boyfriend. She was a KU student, so she was a local. Um, and just like the topic really like I can relate to it um, yeah is there anything else you'd like to add yeah so the assembly is on Friday the 11th um, during seminar it starts at 1015 and it goes to 11 um, again it's not mandatory but I hope to see everyone there and also I made these bracelets that stuck on my watch but I, I made these bracelets <laughs> that um they say in the silence stop the violence um they're purple and white which is the colors for the domestic abuse mm -hmm. um awareness um like the first 200 students that get there get the bracelet so all right thank you kaylee now back to your anchors there will be another assembly tomorrow during seminar now over to weatherman josh for the forecast All right, happy one day till Friday. Let's take a look at the timing of the rain heading through the daylight hours tomorrow. Today, totally dry, but here's the picture by noon tomorrow. Notice rain in southeastern Kansas starting to move its way up here toward Topeka. And by 3 p.m., I do expect we have scattered showers in the area, so it could be a wet period after school tomorrow. This will continue through the evening hours. So if you're heading to Hayden for the basketball game, could be raining on your way there and on your way back. But sometime close to midnight, we expect this rain to change to snow. Yeah, you just saw that go from green to blue. That means rain to snow, but it's gonna be key on our temperatures. So if they're a little bit warmer, rain could linger for longer. If they're colder, we could see that switch over a little bit sooner. Either way, by Saturday morning, we expect snow to be continuing across much of the eastern two thirds of the state. It will be getting lighter heading toward noon, but snow showers should continue into the early afternoon hours before winding down and pushing to the east by 6 p.m. on Saturday. So how much are we talking about? Here's an early look. We're looking at 70% chance of getting more than one inch of snow a 60% chance of more than two inches of accumulation and a 40% chance that we'll get more than four inches of snow. The reason these percentages are somewhat low is because it's uncertain how the previous rain will affect the ability for the snow to stick, especially on roads and concrete surfaces. Grassy surfaces probably not going to have quite as tough of a time, but it could be a little tricky for those surfaces that are wet as temperatures will likely stay above freezing throughout the event and now let's take a look at the Kansas City Chiefs game forecast as they take on the Colts 35 degrees for tailgating with some snow continuing and to kick off we dropped maybe a degree to 34 but by the fourth quarter most of the snow should be winding down temperatures still in the low to mid 30s and now for your SVTV 7 day forecast you can see that the snow comes along with some much colder weather 33 for our high on Sunday 
it's a cloudy and gray day. Of course, Friday, the blackout at Hayden. So get ready, that rain changing to snow Friday night. And then we do dry out. Partly cloudy skies return as 40s for highs next Tuesday. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. See you again tomorrow.